Greetings one and all, this is Lloyd Brown and welcome social media family to my vlog. Today, the 11th of October, which coincidentally is Black History Month. Now, my views on Black History Month is simply this. Black people are making history every single day. And in this age of technological advancement, social media, the information is quicker to get, is quicker to travel, is quicker to receive, is quicker to acknowledge. So if we're making history, we're making history. We don't need a month allocated for that. In the famous words of Mr. Morgan Freeman, who asks on the 60 Minutes program, do you have a Jewish history month? Do you have a white history month? Get where I'm coming from? But that's another, that's another video. That is another video, okay? I didn't really want to kind of elongate the argument in relation to Black History Month. But nonetheless, we are in Black History Month, okay? And um, if my eye seems a bit red and worn, it is simply because I've been shedding tears. And I've not been shedding tears for anything sad per se, but I was shedding tears in simple awe and wonderment of something I watched. And yesterday, or last night rather, I watched a documentary on Netflix entitled Quincy, A Life Beyond Measure, which basically tells the story of one of the greatest producers of all time, none other than Mr. Quincy Delight Jones II. Now, when you mention Quincy Jones, the first thing that probably pops up into a lot of people's heads is Michael Jackson's Off the Wall, Michael Jackson's Thriller, um, but he was more than that. He was a film composer as well. Um, one of the few people that won a Tony, an Oscar, a Grammy and an Emmy. One of the few people that won all those four awards. But anyway, I won't even go into it any, any further as to what I saw in the documentary. But just the sheer, the sheer energy of the man. From him growing up right now to his 80s. Still shot calling, still balling, still doing what he does best in terms of music. Usually I would put up a post basically saying, you need to watch this. But I really wanted to make a video to implore people, and especially people who regard themselves as a producer, as a music producer, to really grasp what that is about. Watching that documentary, from my perspective, humbled my ass, humbled me, humbled me, humbled me. And it was just so nice and so, so beautiful for his daughter to chronicle his life and um, direct the documentary. The man is just not off this planet. And when you watch the documentary, you're going to completely understand why I made that statement. In this day and age, people band about the words legendary and iconic and all them things like a bag of sweeties. Sometimes I'm guilty of that. But with Mr. Jones, to me, he's beyond that. <laughs> beyond that. Beyond that. And I just want to take the opportunity and just salute in an awesome man who lived an awesome life, still living an awesome life, and an, an awesome talent. Those superlatives are just too smart for my vocabulary of my description of the man. And I just want to take the personal opportunity in thanking Mr. Quincy Delight Jones II for everything he's done in the development of black music, popular music, music in general. Absolutely humbling to watch. So if you have Netflix, or you don't, 
find a way of watching that documentary to keep in line with the Black History Month theme, okay? If for that alone. So, <laughs> it's with that. I'm going to bid you guys adieu. It's just a quick little thing that I needed to share with my subs and randoms who come across this video, okay? So, it's with that. I'm going to bid you guys adieu for now. And as always, you don't know the coup. People, please, may I beg you do? Abstain from foolishness, even if it's your own. So until we link up next time, people stay blessed. Magan.